Stella Peshlakai Smith has walked these grounds for 89 years. It's the same place her ancestors once lived. But she may be the last Navajo to keep a home here. When my mom passes on, we're not allowed to live here. But today, we're fighting to remain on the Park Service because this is our mother and this is our ancestral land. The land in northern Arizona is now a part of the Wupatki National Monument. Exhibits show how in 1864, Navajos living here were forcibly removed in what's known as the Long Walk. Smith's family returned, and in 1924, just a month before the U.S. government declared the land a national park, Smith was born. Even though our elders have gone away, I still want to see the fulfillment of the return of the Navajo, the return of the people back to this land. The U.S. Park Service says the significance of the land goes beyond one tribe, one family. It's an important land for a lot of different people, and moreover, as a unit of the national park system, it actually belongs to everyone, and that would include the Peshlakai family. When Smith dies, her residency permit dies too, which is why her family hopes Congress will see their home as a monument within a monument and give them permanent land rights. It's not good for me to move anywhere else because this is my ancestral land and I'm safe here. And this is where we do our traditional ways of life. A tradition Smith clings to, even the language. She says everything that's here belongs to her people, a legacy she wants to preserve. Padmananda Rama, The Associated Press.